All right, the market's still moving higher after two weeks of gains. I still see up two tenths of a percent on the S&P. This is we await the Fed statement on Wednesday and possible move on rates. I don't know. Any further updates on trade with China, of course. And where investors are putting their money. Are they insulated stock picks? We have a current environment that's a little tricky, so we're bringing in star panel here for you. Some stock pickers. Melissa Armo, founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. And Lee Munson, Chief Investment Officer at, of Portfolio Wealth Advisors. It is great to see you both. We have a lot on the docket this week. We have earnings. We have Federal Open Market Committee. Well, I just heard that uh, President Trump, uh, I'm sorry, President, not Trump, she is meeting with the head of North Korea this week. So we have a lot to contend with. But Lee, you still are out there and picking stocks. What are you picking these days and why? Well, you know, I'm trying to look at stuff that's part of the vegan food wave. You know, I'm a vegan, right? So I only eat stuff that's made of plants. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to look at stocks that were not beyond meat. I mean, beyond meat's a little ahead of itself. I think it's beyond ahead of itself right now. So I was taking a look at a couple other stocks that are reasonably valued. And one kind of blue chip of, of stocks that are on that forefront of plant-based diets is Dannon. They control 70% of plant-based yogurt. Uh, the CEO, um, his name's uh, Emmanuel Faber. He wants to triple his plant-based offerings by 2025. And we're not hearing that in the news. All we hear is beyond me, beyond me, beyond me, how it's up five, that six, is seven hundred percent. hard to get though, right? Is that one over the counter? I mean, uh, do you like beyond meat still or you just think you would stay away from beyond meat because it's run up too far? You know, I basically bought some on a flyer when it was in the 60s. I took half the position off the table. Uh, it's completely speculative. It's not really the type of stock that I buy for clients. But I think if you want to speculate and beyond me, I think you got to wait till it goes under 100. That could be a single day on a downgrade. But, you know, in the 60s, in the 80s, I think you're looking at a company that has a real possibility of going from 2% controlling the plant-based burger market to maybe 10 to 20% over the next few years. But, you know, it's like a dot-com right, so stock. Hold on. Yeah, hold the thought, Lee, because you know what? Melissa actually likes Beyond Meat. Um, I know Tyson has gotten in there. Nestle has gotten in there. Um, Impossible Burgers had its own set of headlines, such as uh, the demand is exponential. And both of these companies can't seem to keep their products out. So you like this one, Melissa. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's interesting because right before the earnings, the stock was around 99, jumped up 30 points overnight, which was really only about a week and a half ago. And then from the Friday until the Monday, the stock had one of the biggest moves actually I've seen all year. I think the only thing that rivals the move that Beyond Meat had in, right after that earnings was really Disney, which was news back in April, but I will tell you that the stock ran from 99 for on Thursday night into Monday up to 186. So I definitely think that stock can go back to the high. The stock had some kind of analyst came out at JP Morgan Chase and said it was neutral then and the stock gapped down a couple of days ago and now it's right back around on top of the high from that day. So the stock is rallying. It's over or got up to 169. I, I left the house to see. I don't know if it got over 170, but it is not that far off the previous high. The stock has rallied huge. Again, you want to buy strength. And right now in this market, Market. The market feels so heavy yeah. to me. It feels like nothing can get a lift. And this stock is one thing that has a lot of momentum, a lot of volume, and a lot of lift. And the fact that it's not out that long really doesn't bother me. I think it's a good buy. And we're talking about all these companies having all these things. Again, this is the one that everyone's been talking about and everyone loves. And they're out there and first. Just, you know, just to clarify on that JP Morgan call, the cut was just basically um, a moving out from that outperform down, from I know, what I recall. It is a val no, it was just a valuation yeah. call. I think they thought a fair price. If I'm talking off the top of my head, but I think that um, they pull, pulled that back. It was just a valuation call that it had run up so fast. And I think they really thought the fair price was more like 120 or something like that. Lee, you also like Hain. Tell us about H-A-I-N and why you like it. How much potential to the upside on this one? Well, it's already done tr tremendously well up over, you know, double digits this year. This is Celestial Seasonings. Now, a lot of people don't understand what this stock is. They think they make tea. But a few years back, the CEO that actually got booted out last year went on this acquisition spree, buying everything healthy, natural, and they just were this conglomeration, this roll up. So the stock took a big hit. It was down about 50% over the prior five years. And then last year, they got in this guy, Mark Schiller, who took over as CEO. And basically, they're trying to take 
this big disaster and streamline the company so they're no longer having to pay so much revenues to get sales. So if you're into the Beyond Meat and you're into the plant-based stuff and you wanna make a bet on a broken company that got too bloated and now is on the mend, I think this is your value play. This is not the momentum play. This is not the buy high right. and hope somebody will buy it higher. But if you're looking for something with a reasonable valuation with a new management team that has all the ingredients to make a streamlined company, all they need to do is cut and harmonize and get their act together, I think you could see a lot of upside to the stock. But again, yeah. this Sounds is like different than- Sounds like a grower, we'll wait. Yeah, yeah, it's a value play, and I think it's worthwhile, especially with a market that has higher and higher valuations. All right, so Melissa, just uh, last thoughts. You have a, you still like Disney, but only till the earnings, and you're short on Baidu. Give us a little on each of those. Well, Baidu just looks so weak. I mean, Baidu is barely even moving every single solitary day. Ever since the gap down in those earnings, the stock has tanked. It actually was in an uptrend, then it was neutral, and then it tanked and was in a downtrend. So Baidu went from an uptrend to a downtrend very quickly, and that stock has barely been able to rally ever since the earnings. And so I definitely think that that's lower. But as far as Disney goes, I like that stock. And again, you have to look at the date. Whenever you have a company and you have a position in a company, when you have the earnings, you got to watch the earnings. It could help your position. It could hurt your position. So if you're up money before an earnings and you're in a position, you might want to be conservative and take some profits out or take the whole thing out, retake it then after the earnings. So we'll have to watch and see what Disney does. Even though it's falling today and it gapped down today and fell a little bit, I still like Disney. It just made brand new all-time highs last week. I just think Disney is heading straight to 150. And I would be shocked if it doesn't get there even before the earnings. All right, Lee Mullinson, Chief Investment Officer of Portfolio Wealth Advisor, and Melissa, Melissa Armo, founder and owner of StockSwish. It is great to see you both. Thanks for having Thanks, me. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Lee. I know you're far away. Thanks. Up next, an inside look at Amazon's new credit builder. We're going to explain, and is it on track? We'll be right back. <laughs> 